Hi there guys, I thought I'd show you just something I did this morning and I thought it would be nice to share because maybe you want to know how to do this. Um, if you are enjoying PowerPoint as much as I enjoy PowerPoint, then this is actually pretty cool. I'm busy creating some slides on um, fax and fax to email and I wanted to have a picture of a fax machine doing its thing. Now I know I could go and get a video clip or I could probably find an animation somewhere but I really like creating my own material. So this is what I've created. Have a look. It looks like this. Okay, so here we have our fax machine, there we have a document, and then the document gets fed through the fax machine and comes out the bottom as it's being scanned. Easy peasy, yes, well, uh, eventually, <laughs> not initially, but I figured it out, and I'm going to share that with you and how we did this. So let's have a look and see how did I make this fax machine go, okay? Have a look one more time, there it is there, and then just go see. That's pretty cool. Let me show you how we make this. So um, we started with, uh, where am I? Here. We started with this picture over here. That was the original image. You can see I've got the fax machine there and I've got a document there that, that obviously I, I couldn't use. So I had to first get rid of that document, which I did like that. How did I do that? I used a, an application called uh, paint.net it's a free open source application it's completely free and i just used a little eraser tool to just take away all that paper there so that's what i did okay so just so you know how i did that one and then that's what it looks like so that's the image i then worked with then with that in place i then created my fake piece of paper uh, i just used microsoft word created a fake weekly report, put on a graph, graphs make look, everything look awesome. And then I thought, okay, now it's time to make this thing work. So let me see uh, how, we, how I can show you. Um, right, let's take this fax machine. I'm just gonna start with a new page. All right, let's put it over there. New page, I mean, new slide. And let's take this over here, and I'm just going to work here so you can see. Right, so the first thing is I needed to get my piece of paper looking like it had a bit of an angle to it, because you can't just have it straight. I mean, that's not believable. And the easiest way that I found, you know, I'm not great with images or angles of things, so I just kind of went here to my pictures, and I thought, well, actually, that is pretty close to what I wanted to look like as it slides out. So I clicked on that. So I just added that one. What is that called? It's called relaxed perspective, comma, white. Relaxed perspective, That's I like that. Okay, relaxed perspective, there we go. I hope you feel relaxed now that I said that twice, relaxed perspective. And there's my piece of paper, there's my fax machine. So far so good, no problems there. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this so I keep working a step at a time. So let's see, how am I gonna make this uh, on there? So, well, first things first, let's just make this a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller there, okay. In fact, I'll do this in the middle so you can kind of get a good look at it. And there, and I wanna make it so that, it, you know, it looks like it's gonna actually fit in. There we go, that's, that'll do, that'll do quite nicely. All right, so easy enough, yes, 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 yes. Great, so I'm gonna just duplicate this slide, Control D, that's your shortcut, hey? Control D, most Microsoft applications, Control D, Duplicate. Don't copy paste, copy paste. Just duplicate. Hey, that's a don't copy paste, don't copy paste, just duplicate. No. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Moving on back to this. Uh, here you can see is on this slide, that's where I want the paper to be. On this slide, this is where I want the paper to end up, sort of like out there. Okay, so something like that. So far, so good. And if I use the transitions, the morph transition, okay, if I click on the morph transition, you'll see, okay, the paper goes from the top to the bottom. So far, so good. But obviously, we want the paper to look like it's going through the fax machine. Easy, easy, easy. Watch this, guys. Um, I'm going to go here. This is my fax machine image here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that, pop it on top there, Okay, there it is there, make sure it's in the same spot. And I'm then going to crop. I'm gonna crop out everything up to where the paper goes in to where the paper comes out, about there, like that. 
just crop that there okay so now I've got a piece of the fax machine sitting on top of these two images do you see where I'm going with this all right so let's put that back where it belongs great so just make a copy of that this time I copy paste okay put it over there put it over there so now you can see ah this is making a bit more sense there's the picture there the next slide there it is there okay and um, the other thing I also did was I made this come out slightly larger slightly larger so it looks like it's getting closer to you okay right so here we have our first slide there's our fax machine there's our piece of paper there's another piece of the fax machine that I've copied and cropped out the way so I've placed it on top then the morph transition is going to take my piece of paper and then morph through here and I've also increased the size so that it gets a bit larger and let's have a look and see so I go to transitions morph we'll do it over two seconds just to save some time I'm just gonna click on it to preview it and there comes my fax machine now I'm gonna make it a little bit I think four seconds would be a lot better four seconds there and morph and through the fax machine it goes oh that's so cool and you can have it come down a little bit more as well how's that so let's have a look and see what it looks like there it is there okay I mean this is not perfect but hey I'm not a graphic designer and click and it transitions to the next slide and there goes my piece of paper through the fax machine on its way who uses fax machines anyway? I don't. I don't. But hey, there you go. I hope that's useful to you. Go for it.